Brian, slides moving. Yes. So greetings, everybody. Um, back again, this uh, this section is the, the Best Abstracts Awards Ceremony um, with uh, Nassim. And we also have uh, Professor Benjamin Cole, uh, uh, who will be uh, being inducted, I believe, uh, for the, uh, the FBBA the fellowship. Um, so over to you, Nassim. Yes, thank you very much, uh, Brian. Thank you to all the speakers and uh, delegates who have attended uh, today's conference. Um, my name is uh, Professor Nassim Nakvi. I'm uh, the chair of the conference and the president of the British Blockchain Association. We had some excellent talks today. Um, so uh, organizing a scientific conference is, uh, uh, is uh, quite a hectic, uh, I would say, process. We uh, start uh, quite uh, middle of the year, um, around July. Uh, so the call for submissions uh, for papers went in, in July. And the submission deadline was 20th of December. We received 109 abstracts. Uh, 68 were desk rejected. And we sent 41 abstracts for peer reviews, uh, double blind uh, peer reviews. And of those, 12 abstracts were accepted. And those 12 abstracts were presented at today's uh, conference. So these are the researchers. We had Colin Kalinin from uh, Ireland, Dr. Alexander Lechwiski from Ukraine, uh, Bedretin Gurkan from Hungary, Professor Melissa Appelyard from USA, Dr. David Kepsel uh, from USA, Dr. Giselle Waters and Daniel Uribe from USA, Sapide Mullah Jafari from UK, Dr. Sarah Hurani from UK, James Edward Ball uh, from UK, Dr. Trevor Clohisi from Ireland, uh, Matthias Hafner from Switzerland, and Professor Christy Yuthas from USA. So um, the all presentations were 10 minutes uh, each, and we had two independent judges uh, scoring the uh, researchers on five uh, criteria. And the criteria were, uh, a statement of the research question. Uh, did the speaker clearly state the research question and adequately engages with the relevant scholarly literature? Then they were marked on methodology, how they use the techniques, uh, whether they were applied properly. Then the conclusions and future research references, was it logical? Did they emphasize the significance and possible implications and limitations of their study? The fourth was contributions to science, the overall contribution, the paper or the abstract makes to uh, distributed ledger technologies, uh, blockchain or cryptocurrencies. And then the overall presentation, whether the presentation was uh, delivered in a professional and systematic manner, the graphs and charts are well presented free of errors. So they were scored uh, out of uh, 25 marks, five questions uh, scored from one to five. Uh, and I'm very delighted to say that uh, the uh, Best Abstract Award winners for this year's conference, the first prize goes to Dr. Sarah Hurani from Middlesex University, UK, on her research for the use of blockchain for international justice in arbitration. The, for the second prize, we have uh, a tie, Professor Melissa Appelyard on her research for blockchain for maritime trade, uh, Professor Appelyard from Portland State University, and Matthias Hafner for his research on decentralized exchanges and Uniswap protocols, University of Zurich, Switzerland. So both of them scored uh, exactly the same marks, 22 out of 25. And the third prize goes to Dr. Alexander Lechwiski from uh, National Ukrainian Academy of Sciences, Ukraine. He scored uh, 21 uh, marks out of 25. So the other researchers, they were all very good. Um, we had a uh, very, very close uh, kind of contest, uh, but obviously uh, we had to award uh, the three or four researchers. So <clears throat> here we are. And congratulations again to Dr. Hurani, Professor Appelyard, Matthias Hafner, and Dr. Whiskey. We also had uh, uh, a small uh, prize uh, for the most um, 
uh, engaged and interactive uh, participant of the conference. And it goes to Damien Kassar. Damien, if you are still here, can you please email us uh, your details? So Damien um, uh, is going to win a one-year complimentary membership of the Center for Evidence-Based Blockchain and also a complimentary subscription of the, the JBBA posted out to his uh, home address or office address. So Damien, congratulations. And um, we also had some other active participants, Olt Sibavo, Antonis, Anna Beer, uh, and others. So thank you all for joining and uh, uh, thank you for participating. Um, I now move on to the fellowship uh, award ceremony. Fellowship of the British Blockchain Association. Uh, this year we received uh, 86 nominations total, of which 27 were self nominations. Five of those uh, candidates were long listed. And when I say long listed, mean, means they met uh, five out of the 11 essential uh, eligibility criteria. And we elected two fellows uh, to the uh, fellowship of the BBA. This is the, the eligibility criteria. It is available on our uh, website on the fellowship page. And it includes, among other things, exceptional and substantive contribution to the field of blockchain, um, established a service product or institution or a course that has made an outstanding contribution to blockchain and, and also demonstrable local or international <clears throat> contributions to blockchain uh, as a professional, both as an academic uh, and, and also as an, uh, as an industry uh, expert. And I'm very glad to announce uh, the names. Um, you may have seen this already. Uh, we announced it on our uh, social media recently. So we elected two fellows this year, uh, Lord Holmes of Richmond, uh, who is uh, a chair of uh, co-chair of all party parliamentary group on blockchain. He is the uh, lead contributor of the UK's blockchain roadmap. And he's also written extensively and contributed quite actively to various um, UK policy documents and distributed ledger technology reports uh, in the UK. He's also the co-chair of all party parliamentary group on FinTech, Fourth Industrial Revolution and Artificial Intelligence. Um, uh, Lord Holmes is going to give us uh, a closing keynote. So I would uh, uh, suggest that you please stay for his closing keynote, which is at uh, five o'clock. The other fellow uh, is uh, Professor Dr. Benjamin M. Cole, who is a uh, chair of entrepreneurship and uh, professor uh, at uh, Fordham University. Professor Cole is here with us uh, today. Uh, so I would like to uh, conclude my talk and I will hand over the, uh, the mic to him to say a few words about uh, his election to fellowship, uh, what he does, introduce himself about his institution, and, and then we conclude this session. Thank you very much. Hello, um, thank you so much. It's really an honor to be inducted as a fellow to the British Blockchain Association. I'll uh, wear the FBBA letters with both pride and a deep sense of responsibility, you know, as a, as an academic, there are very few uh, incentives to learn a new field. Um, blockchain, I think everyone recognizes now as a result of the work of BBA and others, it is a field. It crosses disciplines. Uh, if you were able to attend any of the sessions uh, earlier today, um, the 12 abstracts that we just saw, of course, we saw representation from computer science and finance, uh, um, my area of strategy, um, we see recognition that blockchain is disrupting entire industries um, from healthcare uh, to sustainability initiatives, uh, energy markets, logistics, and it's also creating new industries. And that's very exciting as a strategy scholar. Um, not only all of the work that's happening in layer two to kind of fix the problems of layer one, layer zero, uh, but also new industries such as identity as well. Um, the, the possibility of uh, creating entire new industries is exciting. Um, and that brings me to the second point is that, you know, as an academic, we so often rely on case studies of the past and we're rightly criticized as teaching the past. Um, 
blockchain is actually teaching the now and the future and very few opportunities exist in an academic's life to actually teach the future. Um, and I think it's really important that we recognize that we are building this plane as we're flying it. Um, that means a couple of things. It means that some people are gonna get hurt um, as holes in smart contracts uh, uh, allow bad actors to exploit um, the Dow hack, for example. Uh, the, the value of that hack is about $10 billion today. Um, but it happened because two lines of code were switched. That was it. Um, and so as the industry evolves and we start to try to create bulletproof systems, that means there are going to be, there are going to be people who are going to be hurt. Um, at, the sec at the same time, it also means that we're opening an entire new world revolving around not only the ledgers, but also digital scarcity. Um, if you think back to 2007, the Bank of International Settlements in Basel, Switzerland, estimated that the valuation of all global derivatives that had gone through an intermediary bank were valued at $516 trillion. So for perspective, the value of all GDPs at the time was $50 trillion. The value of all real estate property on the planet was $75 trillion. And the value of all um, stock and bond markets globally was $100 trillion. So the derivative market was twice the size of all <laughs> equity and debt markets, all real estate on the planet, and all GDPs. Now, add in every possible conceivable digital object that people are creating now and into the future. We're not talking about just digital real estate. We're talking about an entire new ecosystem in the metaverse. This is gonna be a humongous undertaking and we need the brightest minds on the planet to be tackling um, this challenge. And I am uh, very confident that the British Blockchain Association and its associated uh, entities will be at the forefront of that thinking and it's uh, uh, with great pride that I um, accept this induction as a fellow to BBA. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Professor Cole. Much appreciated. Uh, welcome to the fold. Um, Mori, do you have anything further to add to this session? Um, yes, uh, I think that was that was excellent message. I, I, I completely agree. Um, uh, Professor Cole, for um, uh, election to fellowship, uh, uh, how to apply? Uh, any any tips, recommendations, suggestions for uh, individuals who are um, uh, looking to uh, to apply? Because your application was was extremely good, and you sent us the the, the whole CV and that and the and the, the the resume. It was it was outstanding. So, any tips, any suggestions? <clears throat> well, as I was saying, you know, as as blockchain is, we're building it as we're <laughs> theorizing around it at the same time. So there's there's opportunities for people to be involved with planning a conference as I had done at, at Fordham University in order to make it approachable to average people. There were a lot of kind of for-profit conferences out there. And I really thought that it shouldn't be necessary for people to spend $1,000 in order to learn about blockchain. This is going to change the world. So there's opportunities for people to get involved with the, with creating things like a, like a, like a conference. Um, and there's also ways for people to get involved with real life projects as well. Um, I, I, I pride myself on the fact that that I'm actively involved with trying to uh, to assist people who are trying to build this future. Um, and uh, and so even if you are an academic who's working in just uh, publishing papers and getting out thought leadership on that front, there's plenty of opportunity for you to also get your hands dirty with that with the construction of everything from tokenomics to royalty payments and all these other systems um, and to help people to conceptualize uh, that. And so I think that anyone who uh, is considering um, applying for something like the fellowship to 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 um, think both as an academic and a practitioner, because the blockchain space is ripe for both work. And I highly encourage everyone to, to get involved. Thank you very much. Thank you. Brian, have you any questions from the audience? 
<clears throat> Brian, I think you are muted. Sorry, yes, no, there are no questions from the floor. Um, Do you have any question, Brian, before we conclude the session? No, I don't think so. I think it's been fully covered. Um, Professor Cole, thank you very, very much. Um, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And uh, yes, I'll, I'll, I'll end the session now. We have um, Lord Holmes of Richmond um, up next, and that will be at 5 p.m., uh, I believe, for about half an hour. Yeah, if you have about, uh, about 15, 20 minutes, uh, yeah. we'll take a break and we'll Correct. come back for closing keynote. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you, thank Professor Cole. Thank you. Right. And congratulations again. Thank you. Thanks again. I'll end the session.